Leaf and Spirit, number one cigar whiskey pairing, 2020. Vincent, good day, sir. Good day. What's on the uh, uh, What's on the platter today here for Leaf and Spirit? Okay, this is a big day. Is it? It's a brand new day. Wow, seriously, every time with Aladdin. What, it's what a it? brand new year. Yeah. And we have 2020. Might not have been the best, but this is the best cigar whiskey pairing of 2020 for Leaf and Spirit. Jameson, Quiet Man, Larceny, Rare Breed, Monkey Shoulder. All boozes in the running. And for the smoke, it's pretty much already figured out. Dun, dun, dun. La Bijou, 1922. In case you didn't know that. Cut these bad boys up. Let's do that. <coughs> Pepper on the retro. I get a charcoal taste. Good lord. I the flavor is meld and equalized throughout the cigar. I remember this well. Right from jump, man. I get that barnyard. Floral. There's a little bit of floral. Nice floral note on, on the retro. You get that heavy uh, hit of pepper, and then it kind of cleans up real nice with a little floral scent. And that, uh... That dryness on the mouth. Uh, for some reason, I like it. It makes it feel like it's like I'm important, like I'm doing something important. And uh, I get like a semi sweet chocolate. And then, as I recall, as we progress into the uh, later thirds, uh, some of the more deeper tones uh, become a little bit more prevalent. Or uh, will it? Because we have five different whiskeys to drink. <laughs> Oh, how many whiskeys do we have to drink, John? I think we have five. Five different whiskeys. Different whiskeys. It's a brand new day. you got to come up with a better song. All right, man. I'm thirsty. No doubt. What are we starting with how here? How about Larceny? Oh, uh, one of our uh, all-time favorites. Uh, it's a, a uh, liquor that we fell in love with. Oh, easy, son. Easy, easy. That's good. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Get warm and fuzzies. Mm. This is going to be enjoyable. I get that candy. Yeah, that pair of Jolly Rancher. This is the original pairing uh, with the B La Bijou. So, I mean, obviously, we know this goes well together. But well, I, I honestly, I am putting a little thought into it, and uh, now I always, I always drink mine on ice, uh, so I'm sure that's why this is uh, the Larcy's coming across a lot stronger to me. I uh, try an ice cube, uh, but I'm thinking that uh, just sort of one ice cube in it. Well, one ice cube. I still, I have a little more of that. I get a little more of that sour. Yes, sourness when I added the ice. Maybe a right pair, mm. like an overripe pair. See, just that little bit of ice, that little bit of water just uh, smooths that right out. It takes a little bit of that ethanol ding out of it, uh, and it makes it very sweet. Uh, onto the black barrel. We just got done with the uh, tasting of the larceny. You can yeah, smell wood. the charcoal yeah, wood, right off wood. the bat on this, man. Yeah, that char, wow. that barrel char. Wow. Right off the get-go. Oh, but sweet. Right. Sweet, right? man. Sweet butterscotch. I, you know, I think what it kind of butterscotch. That extra barrel char, man. That extra darkness turns it into, and there's a creaminess, and all that together makes thick. Makes uh, that's the uh, buttery. It's a, it's almost yeah, buttery, buttery, it's savory. Black barrel to me is making this a much sweeter. Cigar. I'm liking this better than the Larceny. We'll save our, uh, we're, we'll we're, talk. We're gonna, we're we're gonna, I think we're going to rate as we go. I Honestly. Uh, uh, moving on to the next, are we? Yeah, what we got next? 
Next. Quiet man's next. Quiet man. Now this was our, uh, I mean this is uh, our second Irish. And this was a uh, surpriser, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. We, we is, both really kind of like this one. Uh, and it's uh, it's not because it's complex, it's not because it's in mm -hmm. your face, it's because it was easy, very drinkable. And they, they made it well. For what it accomplished, it is made well. And uh, this doesn't get a lot of good reviews, actually. No? But okay. We both liked bad, it, though. Man. Uh oh. Uh, maybe we'll understand if we when we get further into Irish. Sure. Uh, but this is a different being than the Black Barrel, even though they're both Irish. Uh, see, it's quiet. <laughs> I think apples. Wait, I think an apples. Apple. Crisp, clean. Yes, it's very clean. Soapy almost. Like a soapy, like a, uh, a floral fruit. I'm thinking apples. I'm getting a distinctive mango. Mango? No, I'm just quiet. This is why they're watching, man. You can't make <laughs> us look stupid. They think we know what we're talking about. Please. And I, even though power suggestion works, no mango. No mango. And maybe a little, oh. ma maybe a little manganello. And more of that candy, that syrupy candy. Mmm, vanilla. There, that's what it is. Definitely vanilla note. Vanilla, butterscotch. Uh, it's friendlier than larceny. Larceny light. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's more viscous. It's thicker. It's syrupier. It's sweeter. Uh, let's throw an ice cube in this one. Wait, did you just moan because you had to lean up? No, I. I that you kind of moaned because you had to. Lean no, up. that was a total like I'm interested because Vince is asking for a little bit of ice. Vince never asks for ice. You're socially unacceptable. True, but that didn't. That was not what that was at all. That was an interested, like, ho oh, ho. Vince is asking for the ice. Vince never wants the ice. What kind of tomfoolery is about? Wait, do you see what that does? Honey mead goodness there, just opens that right up. You see, the ice totally takes all the smell away. From <coughs> I'm sorry. Takes, uh, right. Excuse me. Yeah, you sure you're all right, man? I'm all right. Check your temperature. <laughs> no, I was good. thinking about bringing a thermometer down. Where are you? Oh, with that sweetness. That, it's just like a honey. Uh, honey. honey. I get yeah, honey. <coughs> I understand what you're saying. Mead. Yep. Uh, almost a orange peel. I get a little bit of an orange peel with these two. Obviously, what you drink it changes your cigar. And uh, what you smoke changes your drink. Let's do this. I mean, you can I, have I your own halfway, I know we're halfway through, but as of right now, out of those three, what are you putting up on the middle block? As of right now, I'm saying Jameson goes with, best with this Labijou. All right, let's put the uh, black barrel on the uh, center uh, square. Well, what's next on the tasting menu, Vincent? The rare breed. The rare breed. Chronological order is next. No but, hobble. But the rare breed is going to be much more in your face because it is literally. It's like what sixty percent alcohol yeah. compared to the forty. Yeah, right, everything else is forty percent. So we're going to save the rare breed for last, just to save our palates, and then uh, we'll see. All right, so, bring out. The, the shoulder, shoulder of monkey. Shot the monkey. Shoulder the monkey. Yeah, yeah, all right. Shot the monkey. <laughs> Le bijou. I'm digging it. Uh, we're gonna have to start this whole thing over. I just noticed that my hat's crooked, so let's uh, reset. Reset. Flip the switch. Let's go.
monkey shoulder scotch. It's our first scotch. And I just snorted it. <laughs> Don't snort the scotch. Yeah, man, a different animal, huh? Mm -hmm. What a different animal. Interesting. Uh, sour? Right? Yeah. A little uh, ethanol, a little sour. Very, uh, but it, light. It, light, but uh, it really kind of sets uh, the palate up for... Uh, this cigar, a much darker, savory, coffee, chocolate response. It's not as sweet. I, I mean, when we when we, t when we uh, tried this, it was very sweet. But compared to the Quiet Man in the Black Barrel, and uh, even the Larceny, uh, not as sweet. This is a scotch, man. All right, I, I'm going to stick with what I just said there because I think uh, I'm right on the money. The uh, a yeah, little drink good. of this really develops uh, your uh, the cigar. It really uh, turns it into a much more savory, darker chocolate coffee kind of response. I get all those notes. It does take the sweetness out of the cigar. It seems like right. Is that? I mean, that's very strange. This is one experience with two guys at uh, you know at a certain point in time, but. I agree, but I'm not sure that I like what the cigar does to the scotch. Well, you know, I haven't thought about it that way. I think this scotch went better with the wise man, I think. This has become what, very... Wait, stop. What went... Oh. What... The Scotch went better with what cigar? The Wiseman? We did that. We taped it like yesterday. Oh, man. I mean... Sorry, I got lost there for a moment. <laughs> as far as the smell, the ice mutes it a little bit, but it still smells like monkey shoulder. Yeah, that malted barley funk. Oh, man. It really, uh, it sweetened it up. Ain't that funny? There's so many variables in this. And that uh, don't think that I don't notice your ash. Did hey. you Did you see the little you drama? You see the ash on did that you, guy? You, wait, I don't know what's got, to all, what's got to be all about that ash. You know what? This Libby's you changes. So. Oh! <laughs> man. You were doing so well, too, man. That's all right. That was a good one. Class. And uh, this is the perfect cigar for tasting whiskeys because that flavor lasts on the palate so long, you know? Like, I'm, I'm still tasting it at this point. All right, Vince, what do we have next? Gobble, rare gobble. breed. Will the rare breed take down the black barrel? Uh, early prediction. Only when it's on ice. I think it would be better on ice yep. for the cigar. But as far as an interesting whiskey, mm. there's no doubt in my mind that this is the most interesting whiskey we have. Woo! Does that smell like 60%? Mm -hmm. No, it does not. Oh, wait. What are you smelling? Oh, sweetness, man. Mm, now I'm getting... Definite that no, you get, you're getting the you're getting the you you're getting okay now yeah you as soon as I smelled it I was like are you uh, able to I ignore, ignore a, that are yeah you, just ignore that try to ignore that and go beyond that this is a pivotal moment in your in your tasting oh open your mouth just slightly and breathe through your nose leave uh, your mouth very open. strong vanilla very strong vanilla sweet ah. Oh. Vanilla, a little bit of the barrel. Everything's real sweet, though. Oh, there's so much going. Oh my God, there's so much going on. Man. I don't even need to go any further.
Wow. I mean, see, this is what it's all about. I think it comes down to complexity, maybe. You can't I figure mean, it out. I've made my there's call. There's so many. Yeah, we, we heard. <laughs> can I have my moment? <laughs> yeah. There's, I mean, it's still going. Like, the, the flavors from both are still going. This is something that, I mean, this is a special occasion for me, as far as right now. So, I think I'm saying... The rare breed. I gotta try it on ice though. Softens it ever so much, but there is it. Oh, it so here. sweet. Now, how is this sweeter than that black barrel? How? This is 60%. That's 40%. This rare breed, man. You agreeing? All right. All right, all right, all right. So, La Bijou, 1922, and uh, Wild Turkey's Rare Breed, Best Cigar Whiskey Pairing, 2020.